All right, so at this point I want you to see the Dreamweaver workspace. Um, like I said, here we have our welcome screen and you have files that you have opened up previously over here on the left. Here's a way to create new file and new CSS and new Dreamweaver sites. Um, what I want you to know is that first off, I want you to start off by resetting your designer workspace. Okay, mine was set up a little bit differently. I want you to set yours up. Um, and right here, if it's not on designer, you hit reset designer. That ability is also here under um, the window menu, workspace layout, as well as all of the different panels that may accidentally get closed. Um, that is where you're going to open them. Now, the first thing that I want you to do, we have this insert panel right here. Um, I actually, this is, in my opinion, more like a toolbar. So instead of leaving it over here, I want you to grab this tab. And if you grab it, remember that you can dock. So when it turns blue, you have docked your panel. And then we can look at it more like the toolbar that it is instead of a panel. There are some panels that we probably won't ever use, like this Adobe Browser Lab. I can pull that out and close it. This Business Catalyst, same thing with that. The main thing that we'll use besides the insert is our CSS styles. And down here, we'll use our files panel. Remember that I can resize different parts so that we can see everything. Um, and then the third thing is going to be the properties, which by default shows up at the bottom, and that's where I'm going to leave it. Okay? So let's go ahead and start off by opening up um, your layout. Okay? One thing that. Um, that Dreamweaver does, and it actually didn't catch it on this, which I'm surprised, is it, it tells you when you have some coding errors, okay? So right now, if you look at my screen, I can see the code over here on the left, and then I see a visual over here on the right. That's because I'm in split view. I want you to go ahead and click so that you can see full code view. If you wanted to, to um, to do full code, you could do it here. If you wanted to be able to see both, you can, or if you want to choose design, you can do that as well. The one thing that I see that people get confused about is when they go live, and the live, um, besides freezing up Dreamweaver, um, it doesn't really give you a true live view. The only way for you to get a true what your page looks like in a browser view is if you actually open it in a browser, okay? And the way that you do that is right here, this little globe, and it has some presets, it has Safari and Google Chrome. We can even edit the browser list, so if there's other browsers that you wanna test it in, you can do that too. But typically, if you'll just click on one and open it, then it's going to open that page and show you what it looks like, okay? Now, as for the tabs up here, the insert toolbar, we have different tabs. And obviously the one that's here at common, it's called common because these are the ones that are common that we'll use often. You have the ability to hyperlink, to set up an email link or a named anchor, and we'll get to that later. Here's your horizontal rule, your table, and a div tag. And then as we move over to the right, we have the ability to put in images, image placeholder, a rollover image, et cetera, et cetera. Also more things we'll get to. Same thing here. This is your multimedia stuff like Swift files. Um, or if you're putting in video, you put in a plugin. There's also more things over here that we won't actually get to, but I, it, I want you to roll over it so that you can see what's there. Now, layout is the other one that we'll use, and that's because you have the ability to um, insert your div tag 
or draw an AP div tag, okay? And that's typically what I use to put my div in place, is that draw AP div. There's multiple ways to do it, but that is my choice. Now, there are some what we call widgets, which we'll get to later, and under the layout tab, you'll see those here. You have a spry menu bar, a spry tab panel, accordion, collapsible panel. Um, those are all things that we'll get to at another time. Um, forms, you have the ability to create forms in Dreamweaver where people can submit information and then it gets put into your system, whether it's an email or a database or whatever. Um, and we here's your other your spry tab so you have spry widgets again um, here you also have text and how you can change some text and then you also have a favorites tab where you could actually customize what you use the most and put them here okay all right so I am going to um, oh Saving. I'm actually, I'm not going to close layout. I'm going to go ahead and open my index page. All right. Now, when I open my index page, I want to point out some stuff. Number one, if I highlight up here, oops, that's not what I meant. If I highlight my title up here and look down in my properties, I want you to notice that my properties show me that it is a heading size one. Do you see this drop down menu? Okay and it shows me what it is. Now above that we have um, these tags and these little tags these are called cookie crumbs which basically leaves a trail as to what you have. Okay so if I click on this H1 I know that it is selecting and look how it's selecting both in the code and in the visual um, window. It's highlighting the H1. Now, the cookie crumb comes into effect because if I go backwards, it's selecting the div placeholder that I named placeholder. Now look here. When I click on that placeholder, I want you to notice that right here is the name of it. Here, see this T? Remember that it was five pixels from the top? That's what this is. Width, height, right there, the Z index, and of course the background color. So all that is there as well. If I highlight one of the links, notice that I have my properties change again, and here I have link, and it says what it's linked to. Now, in order to link, you have two ways to do it. You can click on this folder and actually browse for the file, or, in my opinion, this one is much quicker and easier. We have this little point to file, and if you click and drag, um, that should go to the about page and I can drop that arrow on the about page and there it is. Now you may recall back when we were doing our first page how I put in the target equals blank. If you wanted to open a link to where it opened in a new window, this is where you could choose your target. Okay, Remember that blank is a new window. Alright, um, Let's see, what was under events? Okay, so under events, we had our numbered list. Okay, right here, there is our ordered list, just like you would see if you were using Microsoft Word or one of those programs. Uh, recent, we have a table. Okay, now look at these cookie crumbs here. If I click in a cell, there's the TD, the table data, the cell, the row, the whole table. And with doing that, each time I clicked on one of these, it gave me a new set of properties. So when I click on the table, I can see that I have four rows, two columns, 450 pixels, 10 uh, pixels of cell padding, no cell spacing, one border. Okay, So I could change any of those there. Now one of the other nice things about Dreamweaver is if I wanted to start a new uh, row, let's say I decide I want five recent titles instead of four, if I put my cursor in this last cell, I can hit tab and I get a new row started right away. You can see it right down here in the code as well. I'm going to Command Z to undo. Um, if I 
me go back here, look at the row. Notice that I have horizontal and vertical alignment. Horizontal is left, center, right. Vertical is top, middle, bottom. Remember how I gave that first cell or the top two cells in the first row a width so that the columns would be equally spaced? There it is right there. Okay. Um, let's see. Index events, recent, about. About, here we have our bulleted list. There it is. And the last thing is our style sheet. And if I open that up, first I want you to notice that it looks exactly like it did when we wrote it in text edit. Okay? However, let's check this out. Because we have this style sheet linked to each page of our site, look over here in our CSS styles panel. Notice how this shows up. So first, we had a style that we embedded in every page. That was the first thing we did. That was right here. Notice here the properties that go with it and look at it right here. You can see them all matching up. If I wanted to change it, I could click on it and change it. Any of those. If I go down here to the style sheet, same thing. I can click on each one and see the properties that show up with it. Okay, and it makes it much easier to work with. Um, we have obviously edit the ability to cut, copy, and paste, but your keyboard shortcuts work the same here. Um, you have, uh, where is that? Um, one of these actually has spell check. Um, it might be under, there we go, under commands, check spelling. Um, you'd have to do each page at a time, but it's there for you. Um, we have the ability to modify some things. Most of the things we do are really going to be from the properties panel, though, and the, these other ones that are open. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how your Dreamweaver workspace looks. The only other thing I want to show you is notice how I have several pages open. If I control click on any one of them, notice that number one, it will allow me to open a new file or open a file that already exists. It will allow me to close this one, close all of them, or close all but this one. It also will let me do a save as, or it will let me save all of them and if they're all already named, then this is a great way to save all of them. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do a close all. Notice that they all collapse and we'll be ready to move on to the next part in the next section.